Hi, it's Shivratri, and on the night where people should be praying to God, I am stuck here in this interview that I have been blackmailed <laughs> almost to conduct by these two gentlemen, Raj Tarun, actor, and uh, Santosh Mohan Viranki, who goes by the name of Santo now. Yeah. Is uh, Santo is the writer and director of this movie. Also an actor. Also <laughs> an actor. Yes, yes, multi-talented person. I started doing stand-up in. No, not. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> I started doing stand up in 2013, and I used to always think, where will I be in seven, eight years? <laughs> Here I am, stuck in this god-forsaken. <laughs> by these people who are shamelessly plugging their movies, they wanted banners over here, but I requested them kindly not to. They also not have they, him. Him. If you are wondering what movie. <laughs> Are we promoting? You can look at their t-shirt, you'll be like, All oh! All the cups. <laughs> All the cups, by the way. So that is it. Uh, this is a... Uh, we tried to not have this like a regular interview. Because uh, before I came here, they were shooting another interview. And while watching that interview, I aged seven and a half years. <laughs> so I thought... So he's of a different generation now. <laughs> yes, completely different generation. But uh, welcome, congratulations on uh, making the movie. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, you are in the final leg of making the movie, which is the promotions. Yeah. And uh, my question is, how many such interviews have you done so far? <laughs> Actually, and, Nipta, Nipta. Nipta. No. First interview. Hmm. And uh, actually, today is like what? Second, uh, second day. Second, take, day. second day of a promotion. So, first day we've done what? Uh, some eight interviews on Kunta. Hmm. So, for the first interview, hmm. you'll have an elaborate answer for every question. Correct. For second interview, at Thaguddi. Third interview, Thaguddi. Fourth interview, Thaguddi. Last interview, I'm going to go to the editor. I'm going to go to the editor. I'm I can. 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 <laughs> Here I do my chin stroking. <laughs> it is also a metaphor for what? Kindly explain. Why did you name the movie Stand Up Rahul? So the title Stand Up Rahul came uh, around the time when I was uh, thinking about uh, the stand that I do take in my life. So I was in a phase where I always wanted to be a good son but I was not able to take a stand for it for my parents. I always wanted to be a better boyfriend but I was not able to take a stand uh, for my relationships at that point. And I also uh, wanted to take a stand for my passion of filmmaking, uh, which I had realized that I need to do this in 2010, but it wasn't up till 2014 that I quit and came here. Mm. So I wanted to roll all of this into uh, a story which is not autobiographical in a way, because mm. it's a lot of fiction in this. It's, mm. it's only the core flaws are from my life, mm. but the uh, rest all was fictionalized. And then I, I remember trying stand-up comedy in Cafe Mocha and I remember you were there. Mm. And you said you puked. <laughs> I puked, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I, the audience puked <laughs> also. <Listen, laughs> <I'm better. laughs> at least, see, even <laughs> my performance audience puked, <laughs> but I didn't, at least. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll get, we'll get to that, yes. So, I mean, when I, was, when I decided that I need, I need to make something where I'm addressing the flaws in my life, I also started incorporating elements from my life. Yeah. And uh, one of those things was uh, the stage fear angle and uh, in, in that quest, I also tried stand-up comedy. Mm -hmm. I sucked at it big time, there's no two doubts about it because I never did it. But, <laughs> but, that, but that attempting stand-up comedy uh, really enabled me to overcome a lot of other things in life. Stand-up comedy which also was a very key learning point in my life. And I've always admired stand-up comedies because they bring a lot of... Uh, you know, uh, uh, relevant topics, but they make uh, they uh, make people digest it through humor. Mm. So I've always admired the art form. So uh, when I thought of that, it, the film automatically incorporated stand-up comedy. So that's that's it. I mean, the stand-up in the title is not necessarily about stand-up comedy, by the way. Mm. Stand-up comedy is a element in the film. It's a means to the end. The end is you taking a stand for things you life uh, love in your life. My that. question to you is actually something I found out. Uh, so, I lived in Krishnanagar for one and a half years, yeah. one and a half to two years actually. Yeah. And you might not know this, but a lot of people in Krishnanagar discuss you. 
because uh, there is a wonderful story that i came to know later on that apparently he came in to become a you came in to become an uh, director yeah and there was a film that was being shot where the actor was doing quite a fuck all job of delivering the dialogues and you as an ad delivered the dialogues and the director <laughs> said that uh, you why don't you be the actor no no that is was is that true or no, is that that, that was not true that was not true okay so what i wanted i was an actor director and also a writer hmm. so back then uh, it was because it was a very small budgeted film so there were no ads i was the only ad i was the uh, actor director actor director uh, writer for the film too so uh, and then a few ads came in but because i acted in short films before previously so they wanted like uh, so they thought that and a cute dialogue se vada kevaran kaval kada so vaalle enda amma character important kabatti first amma audition cheyadu ani cheppi they audition like around some 40 50 people so cute dialogue se vada ke nanu cheyamane var a cute dialogue se nemmane var then cute dialogue ichchadu anta ayipothar chuste vaalla avvar nachaledu nen nachu so that was how it happened okay okay then and then they asked me will you do what i was like okay Okay. And that was it. Yeah, that's it. Now let's ask a question that will end Raj Tarun's career. Who was that actor? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it was me. No, who was the actor who re- who you replaced? There were forty, fifty people. Bro. Oh, okay. You just were the be- best. Yeah, then Q is well into it. Okay, okay. <laughs> This is a very personal question, very biased question. I'm a stand-up comedian, <laughs> and my friend came to me and said, "I want to make a movie on stand-up comedy." <laughs> right? And you guys made a movie on stand-up comedy. but i have watched most eligible bachelor and i have uh, like uh, you know considered sometimes what is the point of life <laughs> therapy there must be some <laughs> don't be so hard <laughs> yeah that's oh you know, that's the actor speaking because <laughs> what's the next the next movie is <laughs> with uh, so but hopefully <laughs> yeah no but no it's a great movie uh, that movie what was it called I don't know which movie you're talking most about. Most eligible bachelor. Oh. Most eligible. I was most eligible bachelor. Oh, my biggest fear. <laughs> no, my biggest fear. See, I'll tell you personally, <laughs> is that it is very difficult to transpose stand-up comedy to the screen, hmm. and nobody has done it. Even in Hollywood, I think. Uh, Jada Pato does that quite often. Jada Pato is a comic, but he doesn't play a comic. I think. <coughs> but his characters do. Seinfeld. Seinfeld did yeah. that. Yes, to to a certain level. And uh, I think uh, Robert De Niro plays a comic yeah. in a movie. King of Hearts. King yeah. of Comedy. King of Comedy. Yeah. yeah. So when you decided to make this movie about stand-up comedy, hmm. what uh, didn't you realize that there is a risk because a lost is lot is lost in translation, yeah. and the deliverer of the joke did hmm. not think the jokes. That is really truly unique to stand-up comedy. Because the person who thought the thought hmm. speaks the words hmm. and acts out the. But you out. know better. Yeah. We struggled so much together. <laughs> yeah. So I want to know about the struggle. So that struggle of <laughs> capturing an extremely personal uh, art form like stand-up comedy and putting it onto the screen was it difficult for you as a director and was it difficult for you as an actor? That's what I want to know. Yeah. I will start with him. Because because then I, I, I'll answer my. No, no, no. You start first because people are more interested in your answer. <laughs> <laughs> Who gives a shit, man? Shall tell you. Okay. So yeah, see, I was always interested in stand-up comedy. Okay. So are who are your favorite stand-up comics, if I may uh, ask? See, he doesn't like my favorite stand-up comics. No, but that is very personal. It's okay. It's like having so, your own gods. Like Vedas, Biswa, uh, Akash Gupta, uh, Akash Mehta. Mm. There, uh, there are so many, but mm. uh, Vedas is first. Correct. No matter what. And it's my personal thing. Correct. Because he does more of this political scenario, comedy thing, and whatever it is. So I like him a lot. Mm. Uh, he doesn't. Mm. He doesn't consider. Mm. <laughs> he doesn't like him much. Yeah. I mean, no, no, no. I I do understand mm. that he's the fa- like. You don't like that word. Yeah. But he's the no, father. No, no, nobody cares about your answer right now. Raj Tarun has a lot of yeah, fans. Yeah, exactly. People so, want to listen so, to his opinion. So, How about? No, but I do. Know, I do. Know, so I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Yeah. Um, the one who inspired me, see, I might not pursue uh, stand-up comedy in future, whatever it is. But don't uh, apologize. It's okay. Tell no, me, no, no. Tell me the opinion. No, one who uh, inspired me was you. Oh my God! Uh, it's it's not a so comedy. So we are on the interview. I'll tell, tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Right now, editor, cut everything. Put me in the side. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. Do you remember the first time? Yeah. I performed. An open mic. Yeah. 
I bombed like shit. Yeah, and I love that. And yeah. No, but is there a is there a difference? That's what I wanted to get to in my question. Is that see when you perform for the camera, you have takes, you have people who are feeding you in. What was the difference going up on stage? Because you guys did actual open mics like yeah. where he went yeah. and hit the yeah. local open mics uh, yeah. circuit. And that was thanks to you, I remember if you remember. When I came with the script, you asked even me to hit open mic. Yeah, yeah. You said I will not help if you and your actor doesn't hit open mic. Correct. Yeah, that was my condition. Sorry. And that was the idea yeah. from where we got that we need to do the open mic scenario. He didn't yeah. tell me that. How about we ask him to shut the fuck up for a little bit? He didn't was, tell me that. Less insta. You were like, you have to do it. I was like, okay. No, but that was the condition. But then, what was the difference? Uh, now, this is the serious part of the. This is where I become Tarun right. Thapar. Okay. And I'm like, uh, you know, Mr. Kapil Dev, what did it feel like? uh what was the difference between performing on stage for a live unsuspecting unknown audience as compared to performing for the camera see bro i went introvert <laughs> it was not easy at all mm. and i remember uh you were there mm. you were there you were definitely there my legs were sh shivering Shaking, like anything yeah yeah but I'm, why though what what was the difference why I'm, I'm because a, it was I'm a small an, room i am an introvert bro i can't i can't i just So do you feel like there is a certain nakedness to performing in front of a live audience as opposed to nakedness I like <laughs> hey, audience I don't <laughs> yeah yeah it's like so, naked in public you know yeah he's okay to be naked in front of camera not in public yeah, yeah wow well okay so if there's a the next see, producer for Arthur's Arthur movie kindly edit that out yeah no you see if there's a camera I'll be all out yeah complete guy I'll just give my best but uh, Otherwise, I'm an introvert. I, I just want to read books, watch films, and talk to him mostly. So now that you wanted to take uh, stand-up comedy, and uh, please, uh, can we request him as an mm -hmm. actor with like 10, 12 years experience? Can you look into his eyes and ask him not to give us a boring answer? <laughs> can you? Stand-up. I try my best. <laughs> please don't. Okay. At least grab that cup out of him. <laughs> Wait, this will Bro, make it interesting. I'll tell, I'll, so this one I'll tell you. Once he said a joke. Mm. Consider it as a joke. He came up with a beautiful joke. He said that uh, once Hrithik Roshan asked for a lift and two cars stopped. <laughs> yeah, that is the only joke he's cracked in life. We were just talking about that. Exactly. As the writer, director of a movie on stand-up comedy, exactly. in his okay. life, his sense of humor is so fucking. Bad. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't. He's going to give them any confidence over the film. <laughs> Which brings me to my next question. Yeah. Please don't make it boring. Okay. I hope you did your acting job. But uh, in the so you know that it is difficult to convey stand-up comedy hmm. into hmm. Uh, the stage. Hmm. What were the steps you really took, and uh, did that uh, uh, give you any insights about a stand-up comedian or a stand-up comedy as an art form? Yeah. yeah. I mean to give you a very boring answer again. Yeah. Keep that short. I'm going to leave. Let me just contact. Keep the boring answer within 30 seconds. I'm going to leave. So see, I, I took to give you a context of how how much effort went in making writing the stand-up sets. It took me less than six months to write the script, but it took me more than eight months to write the five stand-ups that are in the film, which are less than the runtime of those stand-ups. They're less than 12 minutes or 15 minutes in the film. So that was because it's a performance art form. It's not like I had to catch him a shoot and sit on the sit yeah. during the writing. And, and as you mentioned, like it has to come right from him. Hmm. It I can't just write something and he can he can just go. It's not like dialogue delivery. It's not dialogue delivery. So don't, we had to don't say just you. Yeah. yeah. So there was me, <laughs> he was, him, Samai, he was there. there was Samai Raina. I know. I know. Didn't get paid, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Producer of the movie. He got a pay. But still. So I mean, to give credit to uh, the team, like uh, Samai, you were there. Samai Raina, you were there. Then Sandeep Joni was there. And there was this couple of random people I met at the open mics. They also hmm. helped with jokes. So a lot of work went into creating the jokes, correct? And uh, to make sure that it doesn't disrespect the art form that stand-up comedy is, mm. we didn't want it to come off as series of punch lines. Mm. We were not going for that. We were going for something observational, but yet the constraint that I had set up in the film was it has to service the story as well, mm. because every stand-up set I treat it like a song, like it is further moving the plot ahead. So. Mm. In our film, the stand-up sets are actually reflective of what his state of mind is at that point. Okay. So, so there were few more constraints. So, it, for me, it became even more tougher because it's a art form that I don't have mastery, mm. and I'm honest about it because that's mm. why I got I can't write it. So, I might as well get people who write it well mm. on board, and the person who's going to deliver it, bring them together, and make sure that the art form is respected for what it is. 
Do you remember? Oh, you said set. <laughs> you said a joke. Ask me to say it. I say it. I was like, it's not landing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that was what was so tricky. <laughs> By the way, about uh, about like writing stand-up for somebody else. It's so tough. It's so it tough. It's very difficult. Very tough. And uh, to the viewers, you are saying that there is more to the movie than just stand-up comedy. Yeah. What is there in it? Please tell in short. <laughs> Santo. Let's not become Osho. Understand? I'll tell it short like my name. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my fourth joke. Of my life. Not, <laughs> not a joke. Not really. That's, that doesn't qualify as a joke. Yeah, but what? W- so the the line stand up essentially stands for uh, taking a stand for what you love. Correct. As simple as that. Correct. And uh, the character happens to love uh, stand up comedy as an art form. He happens to be in love with a really amazing person uh, mm. whose name is Shreya Rao in the film, played by Varsha Balama. And he's in love with the idea of his parents being together. They separated. So him. Learning to take a stand for all of this and becoming a stand-up comic in the end is what the film is about. So stand-up comedy is a means to that end. So Correct. So now uh, it's a coming-of-age rom-com movie. Yeah. 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 When you saw the script, weren't you like, "Holy shit! I don't want to do this shit again." Didn't you? <laughs> no, I've not <laughs> seen the script. I've heard the script, and yeah. I just can narrate it to me for four and a half hours. And uh, after, like, uh, so uh, I didn't know anything. Nak mundi aim thele do, so the, the producer texted one you know, of her managers and uh, they texted me. And they said that you have to tell the script. I went there, and there was this bald guy <laughs> with a beard. I was like, okay. I sat there, and uh, we spoke for a few minutes. That story he will tell you, what happened. But uh, he narrated the script to me for four and a half hours, actually. And after the four and a half hours, he narrated to me. Uh, I instantly said, "We are doing it," and that's it. Nothing else. Because four and a half hours. Yeah. Okay. He's heard few versions of it. Two hours. No, he, he, Don't he you think that, is, that should be illegal? <laughs> <laughs> Prime Minister Narendra Modi is watching. Don't you think there should be a ban on directors who narrate a story? Your movie is fucking no, four and a half hours. No, this good. <laughs> but this is four and a half hours narration. That's kind of. If it's this good. It's okay. Oh, that's promotion. Stand <laughs> up. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll ask you one question. Now, in the last two years, so I I find like you know movies generally don't address Corona, hmm. right? But it is something that has changed all our lives, hmm. right? For stand-up comedians, there were no shows. So how was it for an actor? Like, did Corona affect your lives? First lockdown is a parakast as well. Second lockdown was much better. Ah, uh, Tarawata, it was okay. I'll give you one twenty seconds hmm. to answer this question, and I'll hmm. I'll come to you again. Okay. One twenty seconds to answer this particular question. You have one twenty seconds, hmm. Santo. Many people want to be filmmakers. Hmm. What is the one thing you have learned after making your movie that you would like to describe to all the aspiring filmmakers? You have one twenty seconds. Your time starts now. I'll take less than that. Yeah, please. No, please. take more than that. Okay. <laughs> no, no. The one thing I realized is filmmaking is not as complicated as you think. Just go make films. Go with a phone. Learn to edit. Learn to add music. Learn to do sounds. With internet and determination, you can achieve anything and make any kind of film that you want. That's all I learned, and, and that's how I actually learned to make the film. Yeah, that's, so that's the answer. answer. Yeah. The surprisingly <laughs> short answer: thirty-eight seconds. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll move on to you. What I'm saying is, there are many people who believe they want to act. With the writing, directing, I answered his question. Many people want to act. They are looking for answers. What is the one thing you would look at the camera and tell to people who want to act in 120 seconds? Your time starts now. See, emotional bank will always be helpful. Like uh, you will face a lot of things in your life, and uh, you won't express it, but it will be there in your mind. And when you are doing, doing a scene, you can use that emotional bank, and uh, you can use that. Emotion while you're doing a scene, it might not be the same thing. It might be a different thing, but it might help you uh, to emote that way. That is one thing. But let's do it. <laughs> All right, I think we can end on this note. Thank you so thank much. You, thank, thank you, you Santosh Mohan, Viranki, Santo. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Santo, thank you, Raj Tarun, for being thank a you. part of this interview, Raj, for opening up. Raj, and thank you, Rudey, for yeah. having us, and thank you, film companion. Thank you so and much. Thank you, Rudey.